In the darkness, the sound of small mechanical gears winding fills the air. Click. The noise is as familiar as my breath, a companion in the silence. Morning light spills into my bedroom, carried on a cool spring Toronto breeze that billows the curtains. The sunlight creeps in, gentle and patient, uncovering the room's true colors. Click. I lie on my bed, lost in a world of t boz Lisa Left Eye, and Chili, as they vibe through my headphones. My eyes are fixed on the stucco ceiling, while my hands fiddle with a relic from another life, an extension of me. An old chrome Nikon FE SLR film camera. Deep in my thoughts, I lift the camera to my eye and snap away at the wall above my headboard. This wall is my sanctuary, a shrine to photography. There's barely an inch of space left uncovered, a tapestry of magazine spreads, exotic lands and high fashion, all interwoven with my photos of nameless street figures. Each image is pinned, glued, or taped with care, creating a chaotic harmony. Click. I pull back the camera's advance lever again. Click. Over and over, the sound is a heartbeat, steady and sure. I open the back of the camera, only to find emptiness. There's no roll of film. I turn to my side as my eyes drift to the dresser, sitting atop. A photo of my father, Aliyah, at 23, with the same chrome FE around his neck, newer and less banged up. He stands beside my mother, Yasmin, and me. A seven-year-old munchkin with neat, cute box braids and eyes full of wonder. We looked so happy. I wish I could warn her. Click. I sit up, with the weight of memories pressing down on me. I aim the empty camera at a poster on my wall, advertising a local photography contest. Let's see what you got, it challenges. The winning photo will earn $500. You must buy a roll of 35 or 120 millimeter film to enter. Click. I slide into my large baggy hooded sweatshirt, a shield that hides my tall, slim frame. I cover my uneven, clearly DIY'd braids with the hood. I thread a shoelace through the belt loops of my worn out, hemmed slightly oversized jeans. With a final touch, I place the camera strap around my neck and grab my beaten down basic value village skateboard. Ready. With the Nikon and skateboard as my companions, I step out into the world. A glimmer of hope on the horizon and a contest to be won. And with it, the possibility of a future I can almost touch.